Welcome back, everyone, for more Subnautica with the FCS mods. As you can see, it's daytime. All my fancy new lights have automatically turned off. Well, except for the older lights that I did not bother replacing last time. But all the new ones, the new LED floodlights, have all turned off automatically as they're supposed to because the night sensor is enabled and, you know, it's, it's not nighttime anymore. And so I think I've covered with that pretty much everything from the latest update round for the FCS mods, but just in case, I'm gonna do some more digging today. Okay, so something new that I haven't really worried about because I've been making plenty of money with this for a while, but apparently you can, just like a normal credit card, take on debt with it and that allows you automatic debt reduction by taking what looks to be a percentage of your earnings from your ore consumers and i'm noticing i'm not getting any notification for my ore consumers right now either oh that's still going 4.2 per day um why is that back to high okay so Oh, I see. So now, last time, I selected Kyanot, and it had selected also, like, say it's selecting Crystal and Sulfur, too? Yeah. This is back to producing the two things I did not need anymore. Again, it just produced another piece of nickel ore. Stop making nickel ore. All right, I'm just going to try this. Blacklist everything except for the Kyanot. It's not like I'm hurting for money, but I at least want to see if this this is it. I, I mean, I need to have some Kyanot production going. And it's like it's ignoring every change I make to them. It went from three to five sulfur. So they, they're just completely ignoring everything. Oh, and it says small sofa. So I just dismantled those. So it's an older model, apparently. Something with the new update changed things. And so I guess they, they changed what the model is. So I'm going to get two more heavy deep drillers. Uh, actually, you know, I don't even need that much. Let's just, let's just do one. I can ramp up the production volume with it. One deep driller, heavy duty. Looks like it got a little bit lower to down there. Okay. Let it boot up. And if you haven't seen this part before, you finally get to see it now. I haven't had to mess with these in a while. First thing we're going to do is go and connect to the remote storage so that it is going to dump into that. That's the way I get everything into the base. And then we're going to toggle the filter. And that's not highlighted now. So, yep, you got to have new version of it. Uh, apparently, we're going to edit that to ores per day. Uh, I was doing 30 before for each of them. Let's just do 50. And then I need to, you know, I need to connect to base. I just don't remember the base number. PS040. Connect to base. And got to make sure we take out the curly braces. PS040. Execute. And I think that. I can't even remember what exactly that does. It doesn't do power that way because you already got the power going right here. I'll say maybe that ties it in for the automation part, being able to transfer items. And of course, we need lubricant for it. And that's where we're going to automate it here. We're going to go to my site, go to the settings page. We'll go here and we're going to send lubricant over. We're going to keep it always at one just level one that way uh it should never have a problem because this is supposed to be as soon as it produces which i bet oh yeah it turned off uh all right so as soon as it produces one in six minutes this and i'll double check should be still set to automatically convert to lubricant which means this just keeps filling up so we're gonna say if it has more than two lubricant to transfer and uh, we're going to enable and confirm 
and I can already hear it. Got the driller started because it automatically transferred the lubricant over, which means I don't have to worry about filling up the lubricant level on it. And it will just start pushing stuff into there, which now that I've changed that, let me check and make sure nothing else is going to be adjusted on it. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. So each of these should be set to dump Kyanot in. So that's going to go back to producing the Kyanot I need. And let's see, where's the, where's the automation part? Let me, let me see. Oh, that's not it. Where Where is the automation thing? Did that change too? Because I'm not seeing it here. So that makes, I wonder if that did change. That was like a different interface for it as well. Um, okay, yeah, I don't need that. Oh, that just goes to the I thing. All right, so F. It did change. Now you interact with this instead of the automation over there. So we're going to produce lubricant. Recursive operation because we want it to keep going. And yeah, craft one over and over and over. So it should be yeah, infinite. Pending items, pending those. Done. So there it goes. All right. So this produced the seed cluster it went ahead and produced its lubricant lubricant is going up and our kyanite is going up so hopefully this is now fixed now uh i, I guess i need to check my other mine as well because it's it does the same thing it automatically produces lubricant and apparently that lubricant setup changed oh yeah look at that it's doing the exact same thing it is ignoring the toggle switch because I have sand and I'm not supposed to have sand. So I'm going to have to buy another deep driller and I'm trying to think I don't have any other drillers anywhere else. So yeah, look at that. It's, it's just supposed to be providing me pretty much everything, but not sand. I was not worried about sand. There it is. Okay. So one sand. So I had 22 sand, assuming it doesn't have anything else. Come in. We're going to craft that. And there we go. Got that going. All right. It's pulling that. Let's take this old deep driller out. Take out the old one, which has the, uh, has, it does not sit as high now anymore. Apparently, the power transmitter doesn't care about not having the base under anymore. We're going to stack it there because at least it looks better. Okay. Wow. Okay. Quartz shows that I go here. That shows quartz. But for his tool tip, none. Make sure this is working. It is that plenty of power and 30 per day, barely any power consumption. we got that bit going there. The lubricant and let's see how we're doing. Oh, 65 out of 200, 182 out of 200, 94, uh, 121, and I've got these back here too. Hopefully, we could get something. I, I've, I know I've mentioned this in the past. I think it would be a good add-on for these. Is some kind of automation for transferring, for cargo shipping. It could be a shipping drone like the way we buy stuff and it gets delivered it could end up being just a uh you know some kind of like matter rematerializer or something like that that just you know it, it simply takes it and rematerializes it and you can automate it and say as long as there's more than this rematerialize the excess over to the uh this base you know so now money is fixed should be going back up a bit uh let's spend some money uh because you know might as well i got plenty of money you know i'm gonna go ahead and get to work with the glass railings 
because you know what I, i've got an area i at least want to get some more railings done now there is a feature that i haven't used before i know i've got the right template for this i just i'm not sure which one it is i think it might be that one we'll try it real quick just see nope wrong one all right so what i want to do uh you know we'll try this one just to see does it, okay so that does it so if i turn around i go uh, not, not that one, uh, p okay changed my whole color thing so i go here bam i got it back and so if you just you know you decide you want to you, you forgot which one you use just want to create a new copy of it you can use p and it will match up whatever the color scheme is of a current item to uh what you have on your paint thing and fortunately i do have another paint can ready to go there we go the last 11 done so i have a full railing along this obviously i actually did count things a little differently because i have these gapped a little bit more <laughs> than the other ones i am not about to redo this uh i mean i got these a lot closer i could i could cut i was i'm sure like three or four of them out i'm not worried about it right now I, it's done i'm not about to cut it out i don't even think i want to do that on any of the upper levels I think it's good like it is and why is that one looking weird that's interesting these just say a number Deca decorations fabricator for that uh so apparently i guess if i take these out i uh <laughs> i mean it says cargo crate uh i might need to just go ahead and replace some of these that's an empty desk <laughs> for the the sink uh the wall computer i don't even know if i like want to mess with those mini filter fountain okay so that's interesting i'm targeting on the side is working but i go over here it's a wall computer um skeletal remains what i don't know why it's showing weirdly like that maybe i just gotta target the right spot for it to work i'm just wondering if maybe that's why some of this stuff perhaps isn't showing up where i could maybe automate it that'd be kind of cool to have an automated smoker you know curing cabinet type of thing now i've noticed something with the led lights i i, I don't remember even trying this before so we could change the elevation and the rotation of it but it does not rotate around the actual post itself it seems i can't get it to like turn uh to face more that way and more that way which would be nice if it had at least a little bit of range for that that if it's like oh yeah i've got the right spot but now i need to turn just a little bit this way be easier to fine tune maybe you know shift and arrow keys to adjust that or like the braces brackets key something else can be used for that but that would be a nice little change there i think and uh, we're gonna do a different color we're gonna go boom look at that we're gonna raise it up a bit because i want to have a decorative light on the plants not my plants the native plants one more floodlight change the color kick up the intensity a little bit more actually let's go full t intensity 1.5 and just for the look i'll do it like this but you know it doesn't actually make a difference and i actually do have some light on the mountain now let's go ahead and do the uh i don't know not that not that the night sensor uh, that button and very slow turn rate without the snap builder uh well, maybe i could do it like this yeah like, like like that there we go just straddling the corner i'm actually gonna take this one out because I, mean, I don't really need it up here the the ones on the lower level are bright enough to light all the way up to the top level so i'm gonna reuse this aha finally one that's actually in the water because I haven't done any of them in the water yet. And now there we have it. A lovely black light lit 
background, it actually does make things stand out more. It's more, it's more noticeable because there is a lit up background behind the base. It's not just the base itself. There's a, a detail to the background. It's like we're lighting up our nicely done landscaping, even though I didn't actually landscape this. And it does make things stand out. Like right there, there's more distinction between the background and the base and the foreground. So yeah, there we go. Found a few more things that not so much features, but changes and some things that need to be tweaked with the new update to the FCS mods, mainly in the production type stuff again. And, you know, I did see the deep driller thing last time. I did. I don't remember noticing the whole weird naming thing with it last time. So it that's fits. There's a few things that obviously you will have to replace for maybe the full functionality, but it looks like most stuff still works. You may just have the occasional little bug. And if you do just, you know, go replace it with the, the same thing, but it's a newer like item code or whatever. Uh, but the, yeah, I've got pretty much everything done on this. we got a nice railing there, nice visuals with the lighting. And, you know, outside of waiting for the next update, I'm kind of running out of stuff to do because I have built enough bases that, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to build anymore. And I'm thinking now, next time, you know, I should just take advantage of these lights at the other base, the Reaper and Ghost Leviathan watch base. Because these definitely work a lot better than the vanilla LED floodlights.